Hey y'all, Steve Sawyer with Texas Whiskey Crew. I don't have Dave with me today because uh, he's on vacation in Lake Tahoe. Uh, but we're uh, here in uh, Green Market Days uh, and we're gonna talk to one of our neighbors here, a local artisan that's, that does uh, bourbon barrels uh, and turns them into bars as well as wine barrels. I wanna introduce you to him and show you some of his products. Come on in. Hey Steve, how are you? Good, good. So hey y'all, this is Chris Vaughn. So he's with Canyon Barrel Works. Uh, he does all of these beautiful barrels here. Um, you can find him on Facebook. Uh, it's going to be uh, at Canyon Barrel Works. And we just wanted to showcase a little bit about what he does, uh, go through some of his products, and then give you a quick introduction and the reason he's doing this. But uh, go ahead and pop on. So, so all the, uh, these, so these two are whiskey barrels. The other two over here are wine barrels. So uh, they all have lazy decisions in them. They all have motion sensor lights on the top and the bottom of this one. And then on the bottom of that one, you'll see corrugated steel. Um, I set this one up to be a wine and whiskey barrel, since this is actually a Becker Vineyards barrel, so it's a, a wine barrel. This is a pure whiskey barrel. This, I took a lid from one of the wine barrels and put it on there. And I actually used the bottom of the lid, so uh, that spot, is, as opposed to the nice, on the, on the other side, it's a lot nicer looking. I like the rough look because okay. it goes with the barrel. They all have casters so you can wheel them. They all have locks so you can keep little kids out of them. Um, all these, I just happened to find ones that had some pretty good character on the tops and the, the sides. This is a 1792 barrel. Yeah, it's 1792 on the side. This one, when I turn on the light, you'll see it come on. This is all fired. Um, on these, I don't seal the insides because I want that whiskey smell to come out when you open. So the wine barrel, sometimes I'll seal them, but this one you will get some nice charring on your hands from it. But which, which is awesome. I, I don't like that better. It's almost like a scratch and sniff when you're a kid. When right, right. Uh, this one also has the 1792 marks on the top. Um, I do a lot of, uh, I also have whiskey barrel chairs, which I did not bring one, but I do have one available. Um, they look similar to that. Some are whiskey, the wine. The wine barrels tend to look a little nicer because they have that, especially if you use the red wine barrels because you don't have to scrape them as much and they just, they have a real nice look for them. Yeah. Um, but I also do some of the smaller stuff. Like you'll see all these are, Lazy Susan says so it's the top lid, the top of the barrel. So I'll take the top and the bottom, make them into that, and then I'll, the rest of it I'll put into a chair. So every time I do a chair, I'll make one of these. That's why I don't make a ton of them. Um, anything I do that I hang, so you can see the difference. If you look at this, this is a wine stave. So the wine, you won't, the wine's gonna have a different tint to it. These are all gonna be black, all the whiskey. So these are, there's a mixture of wine and whiskey. Most of these are probably wine. But on these, I put the keyhole router bit in them so that way when you hang them up, um, you don't have to, I consider it artwork, so you don't have to put holes through it. Yeah, that's the way. Well, uh, <clears throat> why don't you tell us a little bit about how, how you got into this? Obviously, you're, you're an amazing woodworker. You do a fantastic job at this. So what, what prompted this? What made you start doing this? So I retired from the military. And uh, I wasn't sure what I wanted to do. I started a skid steer business, but then I want an old classic car. I want like a 65 to 68 Mustang Fastback. And I've seen them so many times, I take the pictures. And so I told my wife, hey, I want this. And like all wives, she said, well, I want a lot of things. And I said, what if I start my own little tiny business? I just do it as a hobby and I'll just do that and until I get enough money to make, you know, to buy it. So that's why I'm still making them because I haven't gotten it yet. But now the price has uh, increased significantly, so I have to keep going until I get to that price. And I've, I've actually contemplated one day maybe going a little bigger and doing some online stuff. I just don't really want, I'm afraid that if you ship, the quality gets broken or, or I can't control the quality as much. And I don't want a barrel to go out and be in pieces by the time it gets to somebody. Yeah. But, uh, so yeah, one day, 
the fa so the the fund that I actually have for this is called Car Fund. <laughs> so it's not called Barrelwares; it's called Car Fund. <laughs> That's great. But keep that away from the cow. <laughs> I mean, I, uh, I certainly certainly hope we can help get you to your goal and get that car, Excellent. but uh, you, you truly do beautiful work, and, you know, we really thank you for your time uh, this morning, and, uh, hey, y'all, make sure you check check this out on Facebook. I have one of these bars personally in my house. Craftsmanship is fantastic. Video does not do it justice, but uh, jump one more time. Uh, zoom in on his info right there. All right, y'all, we're going to call it a day. Take care. Cheers till next time.